What is going on everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a couple things to do for you here. So first off, we're gonna get these two mini figures. Marvel mini figure thing out of the way first before we get to the big end thing. So here we go. We're just gonna open this one up here. I said we'd like to open up, I'm gonna get it open. There we go. So, we got open here. And, uh, of course, got your little checkbook here, which for some reason does not want to come open. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, so. Okay, you got your nice little checklist here of things you can get. Like the build things on the back. So first off, we have we are starting off with. I feel like this is. Yeah. Okay. So right here, here all of our little pieces. Let's see if it goes. Okay, yeah, that ain't gonna work. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and build this. So goes my legs. I think I know who we already got. Okay, yeah. Does it say name on here? It does not, sadly. My ID never say name. Maybe we'll just get some new goals here. So, um, the head. He's, yeah, we got a double sided head. I think that's what it is. Uh, anyway, we're gonna come here. Get the little blade put together. This wrong right here. So that goes like that. This goes up above here. Right? Yeah. And this goes on top of that right there. And this. Okay. And here we go. There we go. It is completed. It is, I think, what it's supposed to be if Gamora was Thanos like type thing but you got a little blade that Thanos used in I believe the last Avengers movie I could be wrong and she's got a little stand that she stands on to make her kind of pop off a little bit and of course comes with a little extra piece here because all oh, Legos have to do that let's get the second one opened Okay, so now that we got that open, oh gosh, once again you got your little checklist here, and this time this thing came with a little baggie, which uh, if I'm looking at that, it should, what do you look like, that one, yeah, okay, Excerpt that, okay, here we go, Okay, so yeah, all of them come with that little, uh, with the little base thing here to kind of pop them off the board a little bit. So that should be fun. So let's go ahead and get her, this, yeah, her built. So we've got the body put together. Let's go ahead and get the head on here. Uh, where is the hair on? This is not really important. A little bit of a hard time putting the things in her hand. There we go. Okay, we got it. One more. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get her. Got her little stand here. 
Okay, and this little guy. The little guy kind of went the wrong correct way, but okay. So I believe this is a mix between Black Widow and uh, Loki. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. Oh, threw me off is the crocodile or the alligator. Can't really tell. But yeah, it comes with that. And here is the little character again. But uh, so in this set, we got whoever this is a mix of, and this one, which is uh, Gamora with Thanos, I believe. So now those are all the minifigures out of the way. Wish I would have been able to get some other ones, but you know. Can't pick what you can't sell. Okay, anyway, so now we have moved on to this right here. So you can tell by the logo. It's another wrestling thing. So this time, I'm gonna get them out before I show you all. Today, I have brought probably one of the most scarier wrestling figures in a little bit. I have brought you the Fiend Bray Wyatt for today's video. Go ahead and get him out here. Okay, so here is Bray Wyatt the Fiend. So, there he is again, here you can see. The mask actually has really good detail. I was not expecting that. But, uh, I'm gonna his jacket, like most characters, is removable. If I can get it off, it's always hard the first time. Okay, well, as you know, the jackets come off, but uh, I actually need to do a comparison here, so I'm gonna go grab one of my other figures. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, just for size comparison, I, I have grabbed Drew and Seth. So, here is the Fiend next to Seth Rollins. As you can tell, pretty different size, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say there. And here's him next to Drew. Again, pretty different size difference. But, uh, let me see if I can get his jacket off here. It may take a while. Almost finally. Okay, so here's a little bit of a close look at the leather jacket that the fiend wears or used to wear. He has probably just left WWE, sadly. One of the top people there had a lot of potential. But uh, here is the fiend character himself. One thing I dislike about this character, and it's the same with Seth, the jacket with the sleeves of it is painted on the arms came with Seth, and I just don't like it that way, but, uh, what you gonna do? So, uh, like most other wrestling figures, you have the movement in the upper leg, and then the knee a little bit. You got it in the ankle area. You have the hip movements, the head, the arms, elbows, and hands, Bas basic figure movements, but uh, let's get a closer look upon that mask. That is probably one of my favorite parts about the Fiend is his mask. Uh, so, yeah, a really good detail to the actual person, uh, Bray Wyatt, who was behind the Fiend. So, yeah, and here is a look at the actual Fiend itself. And uh, here's a look at the characters side by side. Oh, that's really good. So, uh, that.
that is all I have for you all today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free, and you can change your mind later. I'll see you guys later. Peace.